Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Mike Bone Junkie bringing you a quick review of the Nude Life Proof Case. This is for the iPhone 7 Plus. We're going to jump right in it. A lot of people already know what the Life Proof Case is. Simply, it's a case that is supposed to keep or protect your phone from uh, an active lifestyle. So, snow, rain, uh, dirt, you know, all that stuff. Uh, so, you can even go in the water with it up to a certain uh, depth, of course. So, let's go ahead and show this thing off. <clears throat> Whenever a new device is released, it takes life proof a little bit to get the nude series out or released. So, the fray was released, you know, shortly after the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus release. Uh, and the nude was just released, you know, in the last six weeks or so. Uh, but anyhow, this one is a little bit different. It has a clear background, as you can see. So, the back of it is completely clear. All right, then it goes into the front where it's a black. They do make different colors now. I'm a big fan of the black. I'm not too sure how I feel about the back clear being clear, but since I do have a the black iPhone, uh, it's not too big of a deal. All right, so in the box, it comes with the usual screen protector. I think I left that out somewhere. I don't use those screen protectors. I actually try to use the glass screen protectors. And I will show you guys the Amazon. They sell a glass screen protector that will fit in this one. So that's definitely a great addition. So on this case, it is a little bit more difficult to get open. So as you can see, I'm trying to make the camera as close as I can so you guys can see the little details. So the rocker volume switch it's a little bit different. It's just a, almost like a uh, a rocker, but on a swivel point. Now, putting your phone in it is very easy. You basically want to make sure your camera, all that stuff's lined up, and snug it in there, and it actually fits in this bottom piece perfectly. You actually want to put it in this part first. Then you put the top piece on, and you kind of want to slide it over the top here a little. Me, I go all the way around the phone. As you can see, there's additional uh, parts that were not all the way snapped. This is what it looks like with your with your phone in there. Now, to me, this feels a little bit thicker than other ones, but it definitely looks slimmer. I know that sounds weird, okay? It feels thicker than the other ones, but it looks slimmer. This one definitely has a better look appeal than some of the old nude ones, especially from the 5S and 5 iPhones. One thing I do not like about this case is how much wider it makes. So I have a a phone holder in my car and it's one of those easy ones where you just press into it and it snaps it. Unfortunately this makes it too big. So this is probably not a case I will be keeping or I will be I will be excuse me I will be keeping it because I do go out to the lake a lot on jet skis things like that but I will not be uh, using it as like a daily driving case. So anyhow, you have your normal door down here for your phone jack and it is a pretty uh, nice size hole there so you can fit aftermarket cables in there. And this snaps and it actually snaps pretty good. So it's not something that's cheaply made. This case will set you back about $100 depending on what supplier you purchase it from. So anyhow, so unfortunately about the buttons, your volume rockers and stuff, they are very tough to push. Okay, I don't know if this is just because it's new and with over time, but you have to really press them pretty hard. Alright guys, so I actually almost forgot a very, very important part of this video, which is the calls. Some people are reporting that 
they get vibration to haul or the uh, voice call is very you know muffled sound it's hard to hear the person the person cannot hear them honestly I did not have that problem at all and I will say in previous models from like the iPhone 6 maybe the life proof nude on that I did unfortunately with this one to me it seems like they you know hit a home run so especially when you take in fact of what they have to do to get the phone this waterproof you know they cannot leave this things open so anyhow we're gonna make a call on speaker welcome to the country club bank time and temperature line for Leavenworth and Lansing it's always important to remember each of us can make an impact country club bank is proud to continue our commitment to the great all right so Okay, so you were able to do that or hear that. Now, the downside to this, I do feel vibrations a lot more than previous models. So when you're holding the phone in your hand, if you're watching a video, a YouTube video, movie, whatever, you feel the vibration. Almost if, if the sound is stuck in there, you can feel it in the back vibrating. So also when you are playing something and you have it sitting down, you will kind of feel vibrations. It's hard to hear it in the microphone. I don't believe you guys will be able to pick this up. But when ordinary people rise up, they can accomplish anything. A gay revolution started to take form. What kind of inhumanity is this? So anyhow, you can definitely feel it on some tables. I use this sometimes when I'm watching video on my phone, just relaxing. I'll use, you know, one of these little stands like this and hold it. And I can definitely hear the vibrations from the metal in the back. Something that I can possibly deal with is not a feature or something that will or a con that will make me not want to use this case. Some people I might. I can't say the vibration sometimes holding in the hands can sometimes get annoying or I can see how it will annoy some people. For me, it's not that big of a deal. Let us be part of this game. 